Hey, this is Mike Sinisi, executive editor from Make Magazine. I'm with Grant Imahara. Here in his garage, we're just wrapping up the cover shoot for the new issue of Make Magazine. You told me this thing's called The Spider. Tell me about what it is, what it does, and how you came up with the idea to build such an insidious looking device. I think the whole idea was to be able to make a walking robot, but one that was really large scale. But I wanted something big enough that I could ride on. Have you, um, have you actually ridden on this? It's, it's most of the way there. I've got a few uh, motor issues, but once I work those out, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be riding this thing down the street. Now, if you had to weaponize this, what would you do? You know, it's it's almost uh, a weapon in itself because it is so heavy. I mean, it's it's nearly crushed me several times uh, working on it in my shop by myself late at night. It's just it's it's very unruly, but. If I had to choose a weapon for it, I would probably put some sort of automatic gun on there. Yeah, it wouldn't be street legal, it would be street lethal. This is actually the battery compartment, but it also has uh, the brains of the robot in here. This is a BS2, basic stamp two, uh, but in a 40 pin configuration. This feeds all of the movement commands to another board over here inside here, which does the actual talking to all the servo drivers. I know, I, I'm sure a lot of your readers will be like, why didn't you use Arduino? The simple answer is it hadn't been invented yet. So these, these are wheelchair motors. They have a feedback pot. It gets its position from the potentiometer and then um, it acts like a giant, giant servo. Yeah, this is a 5 8 6061 aluminum that I had water jet cut. <laughs> it's, yeah, this thing is pretty serious. One of the things that we look at in Grant's article in the new issue is his incredible background of different robots that he's built. What's your favorite of everything that you've ever done? Oh, it's hard to say. It's like picking a favorite child, you know? <laughs> they've, they've all been so cool in in many different ways. I mean, I can I can pick out a cool thing about each robot. Like the Energizer Bunny had uh, a control system that was very advanced. It had a microcontroller built in that controlled all the beating functions. You could just flip a switch and it would execute a number of different moves without any other command. Uh, R2 is a favorite because it comes from, he comes from my childhood, you know, growing up watching Star Wars. But I think probably my favorite of all time that have to be my battle bot, my first battle bot, which was Dead Blow. It was a hammer robot. And that was the one that, you know, I, while the bunny and R2 are cool, they were somebody else's idea. Dead Blow was the first one that was actually all my design. You know, I've seen this plenty of times on TV, but it's my first time seeing it in person. It's solid. I mean, that thing's, oh, it, yeah. and it's, it's, it's a beauty too. That thing's, it's a classic. Yeah. It's, it's built to uh, withstand combat. I mean, I could, I could ride Dead Blow up and down the block, no problem. Cool, Grant, all this stuff, incredible. Thank you for taking the time. Thanks for talking to me. And make sure to check out this magazine. Incredible stuff.